Hey everybody, Nick here, and today I got a review for you of this big guy right here. This is the uh, Nutsack Bags, that's right, that's what they're called, Satchel Pro. First off, though, I want to thank my buddies at Nutsack Bags for sending this guy along. Full disclosure, um, they uh, reached out to me and wanted to send me a bag. Actually, they sent the uh, Satchel, uh, the, 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 the Mag Satch first, and then uh, after I, I, I inquired about this guy, they sent one of these guys along for free as well. But either way, in both cases, I explained they'd be getting the full good, great, the bad, and the other ugly and uh, might be junk, might be gem, whatever, and uh, indeed, I haven't let that affect my review, or at least I've tried real hard not to, but full disclosure, that's how I got this guy. Um, next thing, uh, size comparison. This is, of course, my uh, YouTube channel. So, size comparison, Spydeco Delica. See, it's not a big thing. Here's a standard U.S. quarter, your uh, standard big click stick sort of pen. Uh, right here is a, uh, an iPad Pro. This is the nine and a half inch version should be helpful for some folks. And uh, right here is a standard sheet of paper, um, which, you know, well, actually three standard sheets, but, you know, it's on the other dimension. But anyway, so it's a little bit bigger than a sheet of paper in terms of its overall uh, dimensions here. So uh, there you go. Um, this is the black and brown version, in case you can't tell by the fact that it is black and brown. But there is another version. It's a little more Indiana Jones-esque, I believe. And uh, there is also a smaller version, the uh, Mag Satch, and I'll... Uh, I got that little guy there for you, and then I uh, got another review coming up here, and then finally, the uh, technical term for this guy, although I may contend that this is a messenger bag or a laptop case, this is a purse, a man purse. So if I use that term, that's what I mean. So uh, anyways, let's go into the full good, the great, the bad, and the ugly of this particular bag here. Okay, so on the good side, first off, I do like very much the fact that this guy has a uh, leather bottom on it. This is a, a subtle detail, but it's something I appreciate it. It will take the wear of daily use a lot more easily. Leather is easier to clean than fabric. Um, it, it's just, it's a very nice little touch. Next thing, um, this guy is using quality materials all around. It's using quality zippers, so you can see my EDC is scattering itself to the wind here. It's using quality YKK zippers that zip very nicely in both dimensions, which I appreciate very much. Um, next thing, uh, this guy is made of a, uh, it's got a, both a magnetic closure here, so you can see there are uh, there are magnets here, which keeps this shut, as well as you've got this little guy, uh, come on now, you've got this little leather pull through and snap sort of affair, which is also pretty secure, I gotta say. Um, and so overall, uh, I feel like this is not going anywhere, even if for whatever reason you want to carry it with the zippers wide open, which I appreciate very much and differentiates it from the smaller mag satch, which is just using the magnets. This little thing actually does work very nicely. Next thing, this does come with a strap, and the strap is uh, actually pretty solid. Um, it is nice and thick. It's a sword peasant has crept into the frame. I'm running out of space on my table here, guys. But anyways, the strap is very nicely done. It's, it's big, it's thick, it, it works, it's very durable. The whole bag is pretty durable, but uh, yeah, so there's the strap. That works nicely. Next thing, you've got yourself a nice selection of pockets. You've got this external pocket here which doesn't have anything in it at the moment. You've got this little pocket in here, which is enough to hold a bunch of stuff here. This is my uh, little EDC sort of kit, and then uh, this guy is my uh, portable power bank sort of an affair. So I can stick that in there, and then on the other side here, I have a uh, flashlight, EGTAC D25A, a pen, Prometheus Alpha, and uh, in here I actually have my, uh, my laptop, so you can see your laptop fits very nicely in here. This is a 13-inch MacBook Pro. Uh, so there you go. Better put that back over here. Um, and so, you know, you've got a very nice selection of pockets, and you've got that great size. Oh, and then in here I've got a little Rhodia pad, which I use for taking notes and whatnot. But you get a nice selection of different pockets and things like that inside there, which is pretty great. And the size of this guy is actually pretty great as well, because it works great with an iPad Pro in either of the sizes. Um, works very nicely with a 13-inch MacBook. Uh, it holds paper like crazy. That was my biggest complaint with the smaller one, is that you couldn't nicely put a piece of paper in there. But with this, I can put entire, you know, freaking reams of paper. Well probably like a ream and a half, but let's be real here. I can put as much paper as I could possibly need to read in the, pa in the bag with absolutely no problem, uh, which is really good, and it even covers some incidental stuff. I mean, there are days when I go to work with this guy with, you know, papers, with a freaking laptop, all the EDC stuff, as well as a priority mail flat rate box tucked in the front here to drop off the post office. I mean, this is a nice size. It offers you plenty of capacity, but not too much incredible size, which I appreciate very much. Next thing, I do like the flap on the front here, which is uh, very good. Uh, not only does it help to keep out rain and otherwise, because this is a nice waxed canvas on here, but uh, it also helps to prevent... Uh, 
you know, it lets you close the guy very quickly. If you're just moving down the room, you know, down the way a little bit or something. Um, that works very nicely, I gotta say. And, uh, it just, it's attractive. It makes the whole thing look a little bit, uh, nicer and a little more compact, a little more minimal. Which I appreciate very much. Next thing, the grab handle on the back here is a beautiful thing. I've carried messenger style bags before that didn't have that. It always bugs me because you are not always going to be in a situation where you want to grab the full on strap. And so the ability to just grab it and pick the whole thing up and the fact that you can use this grab handle even while the flap is loose, that's great. Um, very often if it's attached to the top of the flap, it lifts awkwardly, but because this is on the back of the thing, it just, it works very nicely. And so I love having that grab handle there. And then finally, because this guy has full zippers throughout the length that are underneath these flaps and it has the uh this little part here which covers up on the top this is very hard to get into surreptitiously every single pocket on this guy is hidden underneath this flap and then every single pocket has a zipper and every zipper is under a which means that this is relatively uh pocket pick and proof which i appreciate very much um you know obviously don't test it uh, but the thing is, it works pretty well. And so I can walk around with this guy on my back or under my arm and feel pretty content that no one's going to be able to reach in and lift something out of it. So um, I, I like that very much, and that to me is the good, is that it's hard to get into surreptitiously because of a couple of layers here. It's got this grab handle, which I love. It's got the rain flap. It's got a great size that works great for a laptop, works great for papers, iPads, etc., a uh, nice selection of pockets in there, a great strap. I'm um, loving the fact that it's got the magnetic closure too. Um, the, the material's a nice, nice zippers, leather bottom. There's a lot of good here. So uh, there you go. Let's talk about what's great here. Okay, to be what's great, and what was great about the little guy too is the build quality here. This is using a nice, thick, waxed canvas. It's using actual leather that feels like actual leather too. I mean, this has a softness to it that I appreciate very much, and that just seems to work well. It's got nice, thick strapping. The hardware on it is very nice and is attached very strongly to this guy. I mean, at every point, I can pull and I can stretch and I can break this guy, and I'm not doing a damn thing to it, and I appreciate that very much. I've had bags, even from higher-end brands, that don't do that well in the long term, and I feel like this guy has a decent chance of holding up. I don't know how this closure is going to do over, you know, the next five years, but we'll find out. I'll do a follow-up or something. Um, but overall, I love the build quality. This is a nicely made bag, and that, to me, is a beautiful thing, and that is absolutely what is the great about this bag. Uh, so let's talk about what's not so great, the bad. So on the bad side, as I mentioned for the little guy, this uh, little zip here is uh, a little bit harder to get at because of this top flap. This isn't something that actually bothers me because I kind of see the advantage of having this top flap. It helps to further weatherproof the bag in addition to this rain flap over the top. But the thing is, um, if you're looking for quick access, this is not necessarily the best approach. Something to keep in mind. Next thing, this guy is a little bit heavier than you might expect. Even with the leather and the canvas alone, it's using thicker materials so it weighs a little bit more than you might expect. Something to keep in mind. Next thing, the price on this guy is high. 160 bucks. On their website, they have what's called price transparency. They put in how much of the labor and everything, how much all that costs in their mock-up. And, you know, it's neat, whether you believe it or not, whatever. But the thing is, it's pricey. 160 bucks is a fair amount of money. And this is in the same range as some brands from, uh, from higher-end stuff. It's not up to, like, Coach and Louis Vuitton and all that stuff. But, like, Chrome and Bin and whatnot, um, they're all up there. So, um, but it's expensive. I think it's well made, and I think it's earned the price. But they uh, they're definitely charging <laughs> charging out the nutsack for this. I don't even make sense, right? Um, next thing, uh, this guy. This is kind of a weird thing, but I've noticed on a couple of occasions with these little uh, with these guys hanging down kind of the middle. There have been a couple of occasions, especially where I've got stuff toward the top, where I pick the bag up by the strap, and instead of rotating up like this as I want it to, it instead rotates like this, and then does kind of a full revolution. This is terrifying to me, given that I keep my laptop in there. Um, because, you know, if I don't have this, you know, locked down and whatnot, uh, my laptop could come flying out. Um, this is just a question of center of gravity and whatnot, and uh, it's not a huge deal, but it, it caught me off guard a couple of times, and so it's now to the point where before I pick it up, I'll either pick it up by the hand grabby thing, or I will uh, make sure it's nice and sealed, so if it does go topsy-turvy, there's no problem there. That's something weird. Next thing, um, this guy does not have a pen slot. Um, look, one thing that everybody will carry is a pen. So if they just sewn in a little tiny pocket here, just one little loop or something here, just for a pen, 
That would be way better, although do it on the end here if you couldn't. I, I'd love to see a pen slot in there because everyone's going to need one. Just something to keep in mind. And then, speaking of which, there is no padding in here and there is no internal division. So I'm keeping my laptop in there, but that's a dangerous game because in the bottom of this, it's just freaking leather, which means if I've got my laptop down in there and I set this down hard, guess what? My laptop's taking the brunt of that impact. The leather provides minimal padding. And so it's to the point where if I carry my laptop in there most days, I will put it in some kind of a protective sleeve. Uh, whether it's, you know, a homemade one made out of bubble wrap or something a little fancier. So in that case, you kind of end up having to put a case inside your case for your computer. Yo, dog. Um, a little bit too recursive for me. Not a big fan of that. And so I do wish that they had actually offered a, a padded area, sort of like do a division with a little bit of padding on the bottom to either side for a laptop, because I think that would make this maybe a little more compelling. The other thing to highlight is that there are no divisions here. And the other issue is that if you have things like this, for instance, right now I've got a pen and a flashlight in there, the uh, clip on this guy is actually going to be scratching on whatever else is in this at the time. And so this is yet another reason why you want to put anything like a laptop or an iPad or something inside a case so that way you... The, 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 the clips on your pens and whatnot aren't scratching up what's in there. I'd love to see even just a cloth divided down the middle there. Uh, I think it would be useful both for, you know, putting multiple kinds of stuff in there as, as well as to protect your, 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 your technology and whatnot. Um, and so that's not great. And then finally, um, this is still a immersed. Let's be real here. Every time I say to my fiance, damn it, it's a messenger bag. Damn it, it's a laptop. No, it's a immersed. I, I have to level with this. And so uh, you have to really... You gotta be ready for that. And you gotta own it. You carry it immerse, it's okay. It just you, you just gotta rock it. So to me at least that's the bad, is that this is it's immerse, let's be real. There is no padding or internal division to keep a laptop safe. There's no pen slot. It's easy to accidentally pick this guy up and have it flip over rather than uh, write itself naturally. Um, and it is pricey, it's a little heavy, and it's getting uh, a little bit tricky to get inside there because of this flap, but that's okay. Let's talk about what's ugly. Okay, to me at least, what's actually ugly about this guy is uh, right here, your, your little nutsack labeling. The reason I say that it's it's ugly is that, okay, sure, it's cute. It's uh, kind of funny, and it's certainly ballsy to put it on the outside of this. But the thing is, you know, cute doesn't pay off in the long term, and practically speaking, this just becomes a little bit of an annoyance after a little while. For instance, this very bag would have been absolutely perfect for a colleague of mine, but the thing is, she's a little bit... Mm, I don't know. I don't think she'd have found the humor in me saying, hey, you should put your laptop in a nutsack. Um, I, I don't think that would have worked. And so that's the, the, the branding here. Stop me from recommending that to somebody. You know, I have actually caught shade in a meeting. Somebody looked over at me, you know, really, Nick? Uh, you know, okay, whatever. I get it. It's cute. But I wish that they had just used the acorn here and then put the nutsack part inside this or something like that. I think that would have been better. And frankly, I would prefer these if these were acorn bags and then have the nutsack be one of the models or something. I just, I don't love that branding. I know that some people do, and it's adorable and whatnot, but I think it makes what is actually a very nice and very serious bag a little less serious and a little less desirable in a professional environment. So at least to me, although I, I, I love the sense of humor to it, it is ugly ultimately, because at the end of the day, I need a bag more than I need a joke. But um, anyways, there you go. Let's talk about your final conclusions. Look, final conclusion, this is a great bag, 100%, especially if you're looking for something that's a little bit smaller, to carry maybe a smaller laptop or an iPad and some papers, or just a very small, more minimal style EDC, and this is by far my favorite messenger bag that I've owned. I mean, I say that for a bunch of reasons. I mean, the build quality on it is very, very nice. It's durable. It's well-built. It's well-sized. The size on this is great. I really can't get past that. I mean, it's just enough, but it's not too much, and it's it's also reasonably attractive, at least to me and my taste. It is heavy, it is pricey, you're carrying a weirdly small uh, briefcase, and they've got this really awkward uh, branding strategy on there. Sure wouldn't mind seeing the price come down either. But the thing is, at the end of the day, this is a great bag that I've really enjoyed carrying and that I, that I like a lot. And for that, it is absolutely 100% a gem. It is a nice mix of minimalist, capacious, and durable. And on days when I just need a laptop, some papers, and a bare-bones EDC, it is a beautiful thing, and it fits my needs really, really well. So, I like the bag. I am absolutely keeping the bag. And uh, next time you see me on the bus to work, don't be too surprised if you see a nutsack between my legs. <laughs> Anyways, I hope this was interesting, that this review really was your bag, and that you have yourselves an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.